Sinaraj is the profit made by a government through the increase in the amount of money in circulation, the monetary base. In terms of printing physical money, it costs the Treasury three pence to produce a £10 note, and the Bank of England sell this note at face value of £10 to commercial banks. In essence, to calculate the profit of note issue, the Bank of England uses the total value of the banknote circulating in the economy. This is what economists call MO. The Treasury makes 97 pence for every £10 note produced by the Mint and put into circulation by commercial banks, which was around £2 billion per year from a complex version of Sinaraj from physical cash up until 2008 bank crash when interest rates were pinned down artificially while the bank-induced crisis and bank bailouts continued. After 2008, around $3 billion is made per year by the Treasury. The rules changed in 2009 when the Bank of England introduced quantitative easing, giving the central reserve banks reserve currency for free. Therefore, there is no longer a meaningful fractional reserve, and it's, it's unfair that the people should have to pay to have money created whilst the big banks don't. With a ratio of 1 to 12 of notes and coins to bank deposits in 1985 to a ratio of 1 to 37 of notes and coins to bank deposits in 2008, only 2.6 of all money in the economy is physical cash and the rest is electronic commercial bank money, which the Treasury also tax levy the banks at 0.10% for creating all this money, bringing in a further 5 billion a year, as there is almost no production cost to printing digital money, and since George Osborne changed the law in 2011 to how the banks are levied.